Hi, I'm George DeCandio, CTO Mainframe Software at Broadcom. It's a pleasure to be here. I'm excited to be part of this OMP event. I'm a longtime advocate of open source. You see, I was fortunate enough to work on one of the first open source projects, the Eclipse IDE. In many ways, it was one of the highlights of my career. Eclipse became a major factor in Java's success as a language. I saw firsthand the opportunities that working with open source communities can bring to business. And now I'm even more excited to be part of extending open source to the mainframe, the system that runs the largest enterprise businesses. Since my days working on Eclipse, development methods have evolved a bit. Today, DevOps has become the development method of choice. Everyone is reporting on the fact that DevOps has achieved critical mass. Forrester, Forbes, DevOps.com, and Gartner. Gartner's recent hype cycle report features DevOps as passing the plateau of productivity. That's their final point in the adoption cycle. When a technology has clearly taken off, its value is fully recognized. Teams that have adopted DevOps practices are responding to customers quickly, rolling out agile features continuously, and meeting the demands of the business. So, DevOps is great. But the question is, is there a way to combine the tried and true mainframe tools and processes with modern DevOps? In working with clients, we've found the answer is as you may have guessed, absolutely yes. Although DevOps is based on open source and collaboration, and Mainframe has historically been closed and siloed, it's still very much possible. The solution, I tell our clients, is opening up the Mainframe. And we're gonna talk about this today, how to embrace an open-first approach. The benefits of opening up the Mainframe are clear you can leverage your existing mainframe investments, yet work with the tools you want. And you can look to the community for technologies that have been tested versus developing everything in-house or getting locked into a proprietary solution. You may have heard Greg Galatko, our GM, talk yesterday about how this shift has disrupted many industries, car sharing, payments, hotels, etc. And it's changing the game for mainframe too. To us at Broadcom, we take open seriously. We define it more broadly as open first. Open first means going beyond working with open source tooling. It means consuming mainframe services and external automations with ease. This includes leveraging APIs, SDKs, command line interfaces, or IDE interfaces. It means being highly transparent and opting for community solutions to problems versus proprietary ones. It's about freedom of choice and the end of vendor lock-in. Open first is the basis of Broadcom's view on mainframe DevOps. Okay, so today we're gonna to focus specifically on DevOps and three approaches for employing open DevOps on mainframe. We'll review how you can get started, regardless of how you're working today. So what are these three ways to get going? First, you can leverage Zoe to help automate. I'm sure you all know about Zoe. Second, you can introduce Git into your mainframe environment to encourage collaboration and further increase automation. And finally, you can empower developers with modern IDEs and increase their productivity. Let's go through each one in turn and see how they work. Option one, leverage Zoe. Zoe opens up your mainframe to a whole new world of developers who want to use new cloud-based tools and integrations. CI-CD tools like Jenkins, Gradle, CircleCI, and test tools like Jest and Mocha. These powerful open source tools make DevOps simple and approachable. We want to unleash this same power for the mainframe. 
And we have invested significantly here at Broadcom in making this a reality. Zoe enables open source integration through APIs and CLI. You can script your mainframe off platform with a myriad of open source tools, the same ones you use in your cloud environment. And recent additions to Zoe, they've made it even easier to consume with features like Zoe Explorer, Visual Studio Code integrations, and language bindings in the upcoming SDKs. It's not just basic mainframe operations like jobs and data set access, but with vendor participation, it even extends to tools like SysView, Vantage, IBM Z NetView, ZOS Connect, in addition to the heavy hitters like Kix, DB2, et cetera. And the list of tools Zoe works with is growing every day as vendors across the industry, including Broadcom, are getting on board and opening up their products with Zoe. This may seem like a radical shift, but you won't be alone in your journey. We've heard from many of our clients that they're excited about what Zoe can do for them, but worried about not having the support. Broadcom has you covered with our Brightside offering. Okay, option two, introducing Git. You guys know about Git, right? All modern developers understand, love, and use Git. And many DevOps tools interface directly to Git and are enhanced by its presence. But how do you introduce Git into your mainframe? Well, you have two options. One, you can migrate your code from your source code management systems to Git. This comes with major risks, but it is possible or you can use Git with your existing SCM. This is a much less risky solution, and it leverages the years of investment you have made in your source code management environment and build scripts. If you are using CA Endeavor, the market leading SCM, it's even easier. With Endeavor, you don't have to rip and replace your vital code. You can synchronize Endeavor and Git. By working with a bridge solution for Git, your developers have both a Git and a traditional mainframe library interface. This allows millennials to work with modern IDEs, and those who love ISPF can continue to work the way they like and are familiar. And with Git Bridge, you minimize disruption by maintaining existing tooling while adding in the Git goodness. It's the best of both worlds. Now, let's talk about the third option for enabling DevOps on mainframe. Integrated development environments, or IDEs, contribute a lot to developer productivity. As you probably know, IDEs are a very personal choice. And when you love an IDE, it's kind of like your religion. To make it easy to enable many types of developers to work with the mainframe, you need a broad range of IDEs to support the mainframe. So let's talk about a few. Starting with Visual Studio Code, far and away the most popular IDE. Last reported, it has 11 million users, making it the most widely used IDE. Broadcom has contributed plugins to Visual Studio Code to extend its capability to allow development for the mainframe to do things like syntax highlighting and content assist for mainframe languages like COBOL, JCL, and Rex. Then there's the new browser-based IDEs that are emerging. It's early days for browser-based IDEs, but this is where the industry is definitely going. Red Hat Code Ready Workspaces, Visual Studio Code Spaces, and Eclipse Shea. These are the next generation of IDEs. They are becoming more and more powerful every day and have huge advantages, like not having to maintain IDE installations on developer workstations. At Broadcom, we believe these IDEs are the future, and we've extended Eclipse Shea to work with the mainframe. We call the project Shea for Z, and it's contributed as open source on the Eclipse website. It's all about choice and freedom from lock-in. Past IDE solutions have been costly and proprietary, 
our approach is to offer open and license-free options. Broadcom continues to contribute community-based technologies to make the mainframe more accessible, and we do not plan to stop. Wow, that's a lot, but that's just the beginning. The value of DevOps is significant, which is why it's achieved mainstream success. Of course, DevOps is not a one-size-fits-all approach. It's a journey. So where do you begin? The key is to figure out where you are today and start simple. You can start improving your processes with any of the options we've discussed. We've helped hundreds of clients break down the mainframe silo. In fact, we use all of these open source innovations and products I've talked about today in our own product development teams. We're committed to making the mainframe just like any other platform, and we're doing it transparently, with the community, and in the open. Open First is the least costly, least risky, fastest path to deliver mainframe innovation. Navigating the path forward is your next step, and we can help. Contact us. We have a number of no-cost workshops offered through our DevOps Center of Excellence that can help get you jump-started. Check out our booth here at this virtual conference, and thank you so much for your time.